There's just something about it. There's the sound. It's, it's like a, a clackety clackety tap tap tap. You can't correct, you know, there's no delete button, there's no white out ribbon, so there aren't any mistakes. When I'm writing a poem on the typewriter, I'm not judging what I'm writing, I'm just writing it. There's, there's no such thing as a first draft, and, and that's, that's a hard concept. All right, can I write you a poem? Yes, please. All can right. I just give you random words? You totally can. Awesome. Intelligent metal sausage. Intelligent metal sausage. These are my favorite ones. Do you come up to us with any kind of a word or a phrase, and uh, we will write you a poem right on the spot on our vintage typewriters. We compare ourselves to therapists sometimes, fortune tellers, um, because we have to sort of do cold reads of people. Surprisingly often, like, we'll type the poem and give it back to them, and they're like, did you read my mind? Are you in my house? <laughs> How do you know these things? I, I suppose the hardest thing is when someone comes up and they don't have an idea for a poem. They say, oh, do whatever you like. They're thinking that that's going to be easier on us, but that's so much harder. <laughs> We get a lot of requests for pets. Cats, maybe? <laughs> oh, could you write <laughs> a poem a lot. about dogs and my, cats. my dog? People want a poem about their dog. Dogs, cats, and love. The four of us just click so well, just sitting you know, next to that person and, and having sort of the confidence that, and security of having them next to you, like, I think makes me a better poem writer. I think we have a, a momentum when we're typing, and it's a little bit, um, there's an energy to it. We're a team. I think that we would all say that this is the most fun that we have writing ever. <laughs>